Hi, hi. We're sitting in the Peugeot E two thousand and eight. I've made a video, a little trip. It's the same trip that I made three months ago in a Nissan Leaf. Uh, there I used ABRP, a better route planner, and we didn't have uh, any live data then, I don't think. In this vehicle, we do have live data to test by linking ABRP with the Tronity app. Road trip day, I've got the back kitted out for doggage. Look at that. And then up you go then. Oh, the clever boy. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go to our save trips. Where are we going? Oh, Melvick Stratty and back the south away. Calculating route. Uh, we're going to be followed today by this car. And some video footage from that car. Uh, but let's go. A better route planner a link to Tronity with live data. Is it worth eight euros a month for the both of them? Mm, will I use it enough to justify that price? Zero kilometers on the trip. Right, ABRP has already come up uh, with a bit of a shocker. We've only been driving for two kilometers and it's now decided I'm only going to be at 40% when I get there. Now, I think when I set up ABRP on the computer and the app, I told it that we would do about 5.5 kilometers a kilowatt hour. And maybe it's, oh yeah, look, this is saying 4.6. So I think as that, hopefully if that starts getting better, this will get better as well. If it's live data, that's what should happen. 25 kilometers in, and EBRP has made another adjustment. Now reckons we'll arrive with 56. So it seems to be doing what it's supposed to be doing. Well, as is often the case, especially on the A9. Oh, this guy's turning off. We're in a massive long line of traffic. This is the North Coast 500, by the way. If you're doing it anti-clockwise, these guys are going to Dunrobin Castle. If you haven't been there, it's worth a visit. Uh, so we're up to 6.2, the average speed is only, what is it, 66 kilometers an hour, which isn't that fast. This is now up to 57. So, let's go. We're still on the line of traffic. Well, that's uh, strange. Uh, I've noticed the, we've jumped right down to 73% there. Even though this is at six kilometers a kilowatt, and now it's saying our arrival is 37. Really strange. This charger can't validate me. Put the card up, validating user, and it just comes up with an error. The 100 kilometers, we're currently doing 5.7 kilometers a kilowatt hour. 67 kilometers an hour because we're on these tight twisty narrow roads uh, We're still reckoning 54% because that and that's close to the original estimate according to ABRP linked to Tronity linked to the live data Let's go uh, Remember I think this said I was going to arrive at 54% When I plugged in the charger I was actually at 46% Charge for 12 minutes to 67 percent. Yeah, okay. We'll do that. So we're at 46 now. So we need to be at 67. We can't still be at 46. Right, turn the car off. We're gonna have a look at the charger. There we go. Look, we're at 56. Now I'm I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this uh, thing. This is saying 56, I'm going with that. We need to be at 67. He asked me to go to 67%, but we're now at 75 because I'm eating my roll and drinking my coffee. So I might as well just sit here and let it charge. 
How many miles have you got? What's your range just so now? So that's 150 miles? So 150 miles and like 80% is, is pretty good actually. Although saying that, I've got like 70 ish percent, I've got 341 miles, and I've got 250 horsepower. <laughs> but you know, let's not get ahead of myself. And also, I've got an exhaust and it pops. And so, for all you electric car people, you can't do exhaust pops. And obviously, that's something you would really want to do. It's literally a two hour drive to take the dogs for the walk. <laughs> like, we don't need to. He's done this in his Nissan Leaf before and he's seen if this car's any better. Which, I mean, if I give you a quick... 16 kilowatts of I'm just gonna... Wait, wait, wait. I want to show, I want to show the interior just because how cool it is. Look how cool the interior is. Well, it's got all the crap laying yeah, about everywhere right now. Like the green stitching is cool. The steering wheel, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a round steering wheel fan. Oh, see, going up that road, man, this car is like much better than the Leaf. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 242 kilometres are like, what's that, 80-ish percent? It's pretty good. Yeah, just under the 80. So this is me jumping into the video here because we're at Melvick in the video and we've charged to approximately 80% and it's saying that our range is 242 kilometres. So let's just have a look at that. We're doing 5.8 kilometres a kilowatt, remember that. Anyway, it's saying the range is 242 kilometres at 80% charge. So at 100% charge, that's 100 over 80 times 242, it's saying we'd, it's predicting we would get 302.5 kilometres range. Now, remember that 5.8 kilometres a kilowatt. So if we do 302.5 divided by 5.8, that would say that Peugeot thinks that its battery capacity, usable capacity, is 52.1 kilowatts. Mm, something not right there. The, the maths is correct, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know how this vehicle's working out its range. Join me again at the end of the video and we'll go through the whole thing when it's completed the whole journey and try and work it out again. It's a lovely chocolate cake though. So, if you're in now of a coastline coffee shop, it's nice. Go there when you're charging your electronic automobile. But there's, there's probably a petrol station somewhere. So there's a toilet. So if you need a toilet, go have a coffee. All right, should we go to the beach? Yeah. Okay. So what's happened to this now? It's like it's uh, just given up. It, I think it knows that we're at a destination, but everything else is wrong. All that, that's wrong. Oh, boy. Maybe it's, I don't know. <laughs> Oh god. Yeah. Is it worth paying for? Where are we? It's, nothing's happening anymore. Right, we're at a destination, so let's go. ABRP is having a wobbly.
recently now given up on ABRP linked to the Tronity because it's saying I've got 36% when I know I've got about 75 Back on with the trip, it's a really misty we're heading to Betty Hill now by the way and we're going to go down so it's an exact recreation of the route we took three months ago in the Leaf this is still saying 36% Okay, I finally worked out what was wrong. I had to go back into the app and select my car again. So it's like it didn't know what car it was connected to previously, so it's disconnected from my car. So I had to go into ABRP and select my car, and then the state of charge came back. So we're on this again, but now it's forgotten that we're going home, I think, so I'll have to put that in again. That didn't go too well. Now it's saying I've got 112% battery. Tronity, the last time I looked at Tronity, that did say 100. Look, it must have heard me. And now it's playing ball. It's That's probably about what's on here. I thought it was 70 on there, just below. And uh, there we go, 69. So maybe it just takes leave everything for five minutes and it irons itself out so it's now sorted itself out oh. yeah it looks like we can get all the way home and still have 32 percent if this is true so no more stopping yeah that was interesting we just come up with a road close there so i think this road now interconnects with the one that we came up on uh, I'm not sure if this is going to cope with that. Is that showing me that I'm st still getting navigated to where I'm supposed to go or is it giving up? I don't know. The state of charge looks about right though, so we'll just keep going this way until we run out of batteries or get home or get to a charger. Whichever comes first. That was the other thing, when I plugged this back in it just went straight back to miles again even though I've got the setting set to kilometres just overridden that and changed it not good we stopped at Helmsdale on the way back there just so the dogs could go out for a little walk and I put it on the charger put about 6 kilowatts in it I think not a lot didn't really need it, I could have got home no problem now it's telling me I'll get home with 32% currently that's around about what the leaf would do, 6.1 kilometres a kilowatt. Oh, by the way, I meant to say the Helmsdale charger validated my car straight away, charged no problem, whereas this morning it would not validate my card. Yeah, and I'm getting on okay now. This range thing, that's fine. I don't mind it now. I was just used to percentage with the leaf, but that's just as good, and you've got your range. So. I like knowing where I need to charge, how long it's going to take and all that. Mm, I don't know. I've got another week or so with this until I have to decide whether to pay for it, so not sure if I want it or not. ABRP. But the car, yeah, lovely. I love it. I've thought of something that isn't quite as good as the Leaf and it was uh, the 0 to 100 kilometers an hour was one but also overtaking even when I stick it into sport mode which it's in now I'm pretty sure it's not as nippy as the leaf in overtaking and that's one thing I really like a car to have be really nippy overtaking but I suppose you can't have everything I'm just gonna have to be a bit more careful with my overtaking we had the satin of one here and it looks pretty snazzy on this I'm sure you'll agree, once it, it has charges and all that showing up, because we're in the Highlands, a lot of the time there's pretty much nothing on it except the white line of the road. Uh, I'll put it back to showing the trip, what was it, personal one, yeah, so this trip information should come up now that I put into my personal setting. It's still showing about the same as what the leaf used to show on this trip. 
said 304 kilometers, 6.2 kilometers a kilowatt, 64 kilometers an hour because we were behind traffic or on really thin, shitty roads with overtaking places. We have approximately 33% or whatever that is on there, which is about 30, yeah, about 33%. Mm, that's it. That's the end of the video. How did you like it, Loki? You were good today, weren't you? You barked at a few people though. Have to uh, see about that. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye. Whoa, that's us at the end of the video now. So uh, I've just read out all the details from the screen and basically we arrived home with 31% charge and it was saying that the range would be 78 kilometers. And we also did 6.2 kilowatts, uh, kilometers a kilowatt, which is quite good. So let's go through that. So. 78 kilometers at 31 percent so if we extrapolate that up to the battery being at 100 percent that's 100 over 31 times 78 it was saying that our range would be 251.6 kilometers so 251.6 kilometers and remember it was ended up with 6.2 kilometers a kilowatt so if you do 251.6 divided by 6.2 that's now saying that it thinks the battery is a 40 kilowatt battery. And I know, pretty sure it's somewhere in between, but how is this car working out its range? It knows we're getting, it must know what uh, kilometers per kilowatt we're getting, and surely it knows what battery's in the vehicle. So why isn't it giving you an accurate uh, range? I'm not sure. That's one for you Peugeot engineers. That's the end of the video really now.